So this will give a delta negative charge on this bromine atom and a delta positive charge on this bromine atom. This dipole has been induced on the bromine atom. Now the next step that so what happens is that because of this attack of electrons on the bromine atom. So uh, one thing you need to know that these curly arrows show the movement of electron pairs. So you cannot show them the other way around because we are showing the attack of electrons on the atom. So the, the curly arrows will always show the movement of electron pairs. Now the bromine will be added to this carbon atom like, or any or the other one it doesn't matter and this carbon atom is left with a positive charge and as the electron moves to move towards this bromine atom it, this forms a Br negative ion and it has a lone pair of electrons obviously lone pair because uh, because of because it got both the bonded pair of electrons from the Br Br bond now this attacks the carbocation and you can see negative charge attacking positive charge simple attra electrostatic attraction however this will not form an ionic bond don't get confused about that it will still form a covalent bond because it's giving its electrons to this carbon atom so this will become 2-2-1-2 dibromoethane 1-2 dibromoethane this is this is exactly what the electrophilic addition mechanism looks like you can do the same for HCl for Cl2 or anything but this is uh, the basic electrophilic addition mechanism they remember to make the lone pair the charges the dipoles everything and the curly arrows and you will get four marks for this entire mechanism just just to draw this entire mechanism you're getting four marks so let's move forward now so the oxidation of alkenes so very important topic uh, we use we uh, obviously we use the alkene and we use KMnO4 so this 4 actually should be in a subscript and that's why and therefore it is KMnO4 potassium potassium permanganate and uh, the potassium permanganate it has to be in an acidified solution and we need to heat it so this is an oxidizing agent so let's let's go through the rules of the oxidation of alkenes now if on one side of the alkene we have let's not talk about the other side but on, on one side of the alkene we have two hydrogen atoms which means it, it's the terminal carbon atom that is that has the double bond then when it oxidizes we get CO2 carbon dioxide gas is formed if it's so you should remember that if there are two hydrogen atoms attached to this carbon then CO2 is formed upon oxidation if there is one hydrogen atom and one one alkyl group so I'm not saying uh, so I'm not taking into account which alkyl group I'm just saying this is a random alkyl group attached to the carbon atom then we get we get the carbo we get a carboxylic acid so R C this uh, this R is this uh, rest of the group rest of the rest of the chain the C is this carbon carbon double bonded uh, atom and we get a carboxylic acid from this so the hydrogen is actually actually now becomes a part of a carbo of the carboxylic acid group this is the carboxylic acid group so when we have this then we get CO2 upon oxidation when we have this then we get a carboxylic acid upon oxidation and when we have both R groups let's say R1 and R2 to so R1 and R2 can be the same R groups or they can be different R groups but when we have two R groups uh, and no hydrogen atoms then we get a ketone upon oxidation so this is a ketone so you can see that a uh, single bonded to both of the rest of the chains and double bonded to an oxygen so these are the rules for the oxidation of alkene so I'm repeating them if there are two hydrogen atoms attached to the double bonded carbon then you get CO2 upon oxidation which is carbon dioxide gas when you have one H atom and one uh, carbon chain attached to the double bonded carbon atom then you get a carboxylic acid if you have if you have um, two Two, uh, two carbon chains attached to the double bonded carbon then you get a ketone this is a ketone we'll be doing more about ketones in the carbonyl compounds playlist but this is what a ketone is 
So let's take an example. So our first example is but1en. But1en 